The protagonist is Aquata, a type of marsupial. Hello! What's going on, everyone? How we doing? I'm gonna switch over here. I'm gonna go funny. There I am. Hey, what up? How we doing, guys? Were you having a good day? Haven't done this in a while, huh? How long has it been? How long has it been since I did a, sh a live stream? It's been way too long, hasn't it? It's good to see you all. Are you doing good? Are you doing good, everyone? Yo, hi, Sonic. Hi, everyone. How we doing? You're my favorite hero. Oh, I love you so much. I love you, too. I love you all. How are you all doing on this fine day? Today, we are going to discover whether or not one of my friends or somebody that we know of may have murdered me! That could be interesting. I don't even know. It's been super long. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hi from England? Whoa, hey! How's it going? Amazing. 
We're amazing. I'm glad. I'm super glad. Wait, you're a VTuber? I've always had this model. It's just been a long time since I've streamed. I like to be able to show my face to you guys from time to time, you know? Actually have a proper conversation. I'm your biggest fan. Are you, Diego? Are you actually my biggest fan? Sonic, I hit 202 subscribers. Go you, Emma! You got this. Keep up the great work. Hey, Sonic, I'm on Shadow for the murder. Oh, well, it could be. We don't know yet. It could be absolutely anyone. I have literally done my best to make sure I don't get any spoilers. Hey, Sonic, how are you doing today? I'm good. Hey, Joanna. How you doing, Joanne? But yeah, I, I have li literally done everything in my power to make sure I don't see anything. I have not, I don't know any of the scenes. I don't know what the characters are like. I don't know what the gameplay is about. I, I don't know anything, all right? So I'm going in super fresh, all right? I'm going in super fresh. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going in completely blind. I, I saw that, that, uh, that Knuckles played this on his stream not too long ago, and I really wanted to be there and support my bro, but I couldn't, because then I would know what happens, and I can't do that. Like, we can't have that happen. I've got to be here completely free of mind. Yo, Sonic, are you gonna see the Mario movie tonight or someday else? I'll probably see it at some point. It's not as important as, um, I don't know, the Sonic movie. You know what I mean? That's a movie. I mean, I'm sure the Mario movie will be fine, but that doesn't mean that I'm, I'm in a rush to watch it, okay? The first time ever, guys, I'm actually gonna slow down. Hey, Sonic, are you going to watch? Yes, I, I, I'll, I'll watch it at some point. I love you too, Green, Green Tea. Uh, Sonic, they killed you for April Fools. No, I know! I know! I'm just as mad about it as you are! I'm just as mad! It's super frustrating, I know. Imagine not watching with your bro. Oh, come on, Knuckles. Don't give me that. Don't give me that now. You don't need to be like that. You're just trying to... You're just trying to... To rile me up before I start playing this thing. Sonic, you're the best. No, you're the best, Aiden. You're the best. Love you, man. Love you too, JPF. Or JP Fanatic, I should say. Knuckles is here. Sonic, I love you. You're awesome. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, everybody. All of you are amazing. Amanda, I see you there. Lightning Tiger, I see you there too. You're all amazing. Thank you all so much for taking some, some of your precious time. And to spend that with me, I, I super appreciate you. It's really nice. I really do appreciate it. You guys are the amazing. You keep telling me how I'm the best. Guys, you're the fastest ones around. Oh! Before playing the game, we'll reject certain names if you try to input them. Also oh. try exploring some of the wrong answers if you can their pretty smiley face. Smiley face. Oh, smiley thank you. Face. Whoa, whoa. Thank you, Lightning Tiger. I appreciate that, bud. Sonic, we love. No, I love you guys. I'm skipping class to see you. No! Don't skip class. Class is important. You need to go to class. You guys are the best. Stop! You're gonna make me blush at this rate. Jeez. Wow, guys. All right. Okay. We've all warmed up, haven't we, I think? Bro, did you see the review for the Mario movie? It's like 54% on Rotten Tomatoes. See if it gets any better. Oh well, I learned English just to watch your videos. That's a that's a real honor. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I appreciate all of you. Every single one of you here is amazing, and all of you here have the potential to be as a big a hero as me and my friends. And I I I, I believe in all of you. So you guys keep keep being awesome, okay? Just keep it up. I believe in you. Sonic eat dinner? I did eat dinner! Can't you see that picture there? That picture was taken of me eating a big old chili dog? That one was so delicious. I love you, Sonic. Thank you, Amy Rose! Love you guys! Love you all! Disregarding the game, I have a question. Alright. Even though you played Duel Links before, 
What deck of your own would you play during a turbo duel? Oh, speedroids, I'd say. Matthew Bean, I would go with speedroids, obviously, because of how fast they are. And let's face it, I've got a need for speed. Don't you think? Thank you so much for the $5, Matthew. I appreciate it. That's super cool of you. Hey, Sonic, you look very handsome today. Well, look at you. Somebody's brave and stating the obvious, of course. I, but I appreciate the fact that you told me that. Love your Portalverse series, Sonic. Thank you so much. We've been working so hard on it, and we want to make sure it's super fun. I'm finally done work. Oh. I've had such a day. I need a hug. Oh, Sabrina! Crying face. Triumphant face. You Triumphant will, face. You will Triumphant always face. get hugs from me, Sabuna. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come over here. You know where I live. Come here. Come, come and get a hug. You look blue today. Thank you, sassy. Appreciate that. Come and get a hug, Sabuna. I will give you a hug any day of the week. You're super awesome. You're all super awesome. I agree with that person. <laughs> right? I agree with him too. Your quills are looking very spiky. Thank you, Knuckles, my boy. Amanda! Sonic, I've been looking forward to this live stream. Also, I'm working on a surprise image for you. Can't wait to share it. Keep out of trouble, Mwa. Keep face. out of trouble? Me? Are you serious? Where am I going to keep out of trouble? You're Thank so you, cool, Amanda. Sonic. So cool that I couldn't resist making a movie version of you as a sculpture. Keep wow. being awesome. Wow, DIY arts, that's so cool, man. Thanks so much. I'm leaving once game starts, that's fair. I know you don't want any spoilers, but I appreciate every single one of you who's gonna help me solve this mystery today. I super appreciate it. I didn't bring any other of my friends because I didn't want to spoil for them. So I know SBO is gonna be joining Charmy on Friday to play this, and I don't want him knowing what happens. Otherwise, it's gonna be not gonna be fair for Charmy. He's gonna hold that over his head. You know what they're like. Those two are always at each other's throats, aren't they? Sonic is the coolest. No, you. I'm a, I'm a throw the, I'm a throw the, the uh, reverse Uno card. We love you, Sonic. No, you. No, you. Hi, Sonic the Hedgehog. You're the best. Just got back from school in time for this live stream. Well, I'm glad you made it in time. That's why I'm kind of having a little chat with everybody. I just want to see if I can uh, have a little uh, chat with people. It gives everyone a chance to settle down. Get yourself a nice, big, tall drink. Maybe a chili dog or something. Something to chill out and have some fun. And uh, we're going to try and solve some mysteries today. But uh, We're going to do our best, right? I'm also a bad editor. No, you're not sassy. Stop putting yourself down, girl. Girl, you fly. Mm. I got my soda. I don't have a problem. I love soda. No, you are so cool. No, Logan, that's you. You're looking in the mirror. I love you, Sonic. I love you, Groovy Gaming. I love you so much, Sonic. I love you too. Uh, I, I'm gonna see if I can try and pronounce this. Uh, Josephine? I'm your fan, Sonic. You're the best. No, Sonic Drift. That's you. You're the best. Don't forget that. How do you make your chili dogs? Well, I think it's kind of self-explanatory. I don't ever make them. So I always seem to have them. I think Amy makes them. Tails did make me a machine that uh, produces chili dogs for me. So, you know, that's kind of cool. Hey, Sonic, how are you? I'm good, Cosplay Spirit. How are you? I feel so late. You're not late. We haven't even started the game yet. I'm giving everybody a chance to get in and say hello and get started. I'm your biggest fan. Uh, are you? I think a lot of people may may beg to differ, but thank you. You should play Sonic Unleashed. Play Sonic Unleashed? Thank you, Devin, for the two pounds. That's very nice of you. Uh, Sonic Unleashed? Uh, I will see if I can try and get it. I gotta get it on my PC somehow. Sonic the Hedgehog is the coolest. No, you, Aiden. Go, Sonic, go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna solve the mystery. We're gonna play this this visual novel and find out. Can you break the sound barrier running backwards? Probably. It's not exactly hard. I mean, anyone can break the sound barrier, right? Right? 
Sonic, I feel so shy of you because I love you. Oh, Emma, you don't have to be shy. I've seen you in uh, Charmy's uh, streams all the time. You, we chat, we chat on there. It's all good. How is Amy Sonic? She's doing absolutely fine, thank you. You're the best Sonic. No, you, Lisa. No, you. I'm flipping that Uno card, chat, okay? The Uno card is being flipped. You are the best. I love you guys. You guys are the coolest. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Knuckle, as Knuckles said, no spoilers in, in the chat, okay? Because I have done my darndest to make sure that I don't know anything about what happens in this game. Besides the fact that I get murdered, that's the only thing I know, all right? I know nothing else. So, we're going to go in it blind. We're going in blind. We're going to see how it goes. And, you know, who knows? Knuckles is making fun of my VTube model in a private chat. How dare you? How dare you? Do not make fun of me. I look incredible. Chat, what do you think? Do I look good? Am I looking good today? Are my quills particularly spiky today? Are my eyes still emerald green? Do, they, do I still look handsome as always? Come on. I need to hear it. Chat, I need to hear it. Come on now. Come on. I know you got it in you. Fred the fish, let's go, baby. Bonus points if you shout my leg. When you get murdered, roll. Bonus points? All right. Well, if I remember at the time it happens, you might have to let me, you might have to remind, <laughs> you might have to remind me, dude. Sabooner again. Forget. Duck's the best. Duck is the best. We need to get Duck back. Would you guys like to see me play another, uh, another round of the Chow Resort game? I thought you guys were getting kind of bored of it, so I stopped playing it. But uh, if you guys want to see Duck again, I'd be very happy to bring him back. Oh, look at all the handsomes! That's all right. That's what I like to see, baby. Yeah, that's what I like. What are your thoughts on Amanda the Adventurer? Amanda the Adventurer. Why do I? Why is that name strike? Why is? I don't even rec I recognize the name, but. Uh... You may need to elaborate there, Lightning Tiger. Thank you so much for the donation, though. Sonic, you're so much better than me. That's not true, LJ. That's not true. You can't say that. You look so handsome and gorgeous in my heart and you make me smile. Stop! Now you're making me blush! Don't make me blush! Sly Lancey, thank you so much for becoming a speedster! Now you're super fast! I hope you enjoy the speedster shoes and you get to run real fast like the rest of us. Revenge control. Hey Sonic, how are you, buddy? I'm doing good, pal. Thanks for the donation. And hopefully Andrews will come up on the screen in a minute. I I, I haven't missed you, buddy. I see it. I see it. I want to I wanted to pop up. There it is. You're too handsome, my boy. Too Facts. handsome? Facts? Oh, you, you need to stop that. You need to cut that out, you little minx. Oh, chat. You, 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 you know just how to make me feel good, don't you, huh? You sure do know. Sonic, can you please say hi to me? One second. I need to see your name. Uh, Nelson Laura. I don't know if I said your name. I probably said it wrong. I'm super sorry. You, you, you Earthlings have really strange, uh, names. Alright, they're, your names are all really hard to pronounce and stuff. Please notice me. I see you there, buddy. Don't worry. I see you all. I'm doing my best to try and keep up with you all. You're so handsome. Why, thank you. I appreciate the kind words. Remember, guys, no spamming the same message in chat. Exactly. Knuckles got it going on. We love feeding your ego, Sonic. And I love it when you feed my ego. That makes me feel super good. And when I feel super good, I'm super happy. You get to spectate what happened while you're dead. I get to spectate on what happened while I'm dead. I do. I actually do. Uh, Marty Man, thank you so much for the $2, bud. I super appreciate you. Amanda again? 
Yes, you look very handsome today, cutie. Oh, easy there, tiger. <laughs> oh, don't catch Amy. Don't talk. Don't talk like that or with Amy around. You'll be in trouble. You'll be in big trouble. All right, I think we're probably about ready to start heading over to the game now, right? We up for the game now, guys? We ready to go? Are we ready? Lightning Tiger! It's the back. next coming horror game coming this month. It's the next horror? Oh, it is? Oh, interesting. Knuckles, no, my brain. Your poor brain. Oh, no. What a handsome boy. Oh, stop. Stop, you silly. Oh, oh, stop with the compliments. No, keep them coming, really. Just keep them, keep them coming. It's great. I love them. I love hearing it. It never gets old. Never gets old. Uh, it never gets old. All right, guys. We're going to switch screens. We're over here now. I'm in the top corner here. I thought I'd step outside because it's such a look. It's such a lovely day out here in Green Hill. So I thought I would share the love and let everybody see the awesome view. And we'll get to play some of this game, too. Because, you know, it looks pretty cool. And I love the little outfit I got on. It's cool. It is a cool outfit. Oh, did we get a dono that hasn't come up? It might just be taking its time. Hopefully that is the case. But we got the game ready. We are ready to go. Sonic has a voice actor, I think. It makes sense. Is there voice acting in this game? That's the one spoiler I'll accept. Sonic, you look so handsome in your outfit. Why, thank you. Sly Lancey! Hey, Sonic. Can't stay too long. About to head to work. Here's a donation for all the hard work you do. Sly, that's super, super nice of you. I hope you have a great day at work, and thank you so much for all your support. Everybody, all of your support. It means so much to me that you guys are still here, still accepting my crazy antics and putting up with all of my stupid stuff. And it, it, I really do appreciate you. It's super nice. So thank you. But uh, for now, we gotta, let's uh, mute the music I have playing here and boost up the music for the game. Eventually, you'll hear the game. There it is. All right, Chad, are we ready? Are we ready to solve the mystery? That is me. I am that mystery. Are we going to solve it? Yeah, we're going to solve it. Let's go. New game. Dot, dot. Okay. Phew. Made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Now I know I can't put Sonic, but that's my name. Like the Sonic? <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? But no, I'll just sign my name here. Yep, I can't put any of the character names. That's interesting. But what am I gonna put? Just a. Uh... Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Did I spell that right? Yes. Yes, I did. Gotta go fast. It looks like we can use that name. So we're going with that. Hope passengers can read my scribble. It's not scribble. It looks fine. Captain Sonic. <laughs> Ooh, the dining car looks lovely. What a beautiful place. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, am I nervous? Is this the first day of the job jitters? Working the train's dining car could be so bad. Come on, gotta go fast. Shake it off. Slap? Whoa, I'm slapping me now? Okay. Conductor. All right. Should we do... Do you want me to put some voices on for these characters? I could do voices for you. <clears throat> Gotta go fast. Did you, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? M Mr. Conductor, sir, uh, are you doing this? How are you doing this morning? 
<laughs> Quite all right myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. Uh, is everything all right? Is that because you're a sweetie? <laughs> hey, hey, that's my god, yeah! Trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? Also, today's my last day as a conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our pl plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Yeah, I mean, if he hasn't washed it a good while, I think it's only fair, right? Oh, wow. Clean yourself, sir. Clean yourself. Even I clean myself. Nice voice acting. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm trying to make the story more enjoyable for everybody, but I'm telling a tale myself. <clears throat> okay. Enough of my quib uh, quibbles. To uh, quabbles, I should say. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to the inventory. I can open the inventory at any time to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. Knuckles! Sorry. Meet me after class. You know what you did and you're gonna pay for IET. But for now, I'm just sit here on the Master Emerald eating popcorn watching. I know what I did? Dude, I don't know what I did. Were you tricked by Eggman by any chance, Knuckles? That happens quite a lot to you, doesn't it, bro? Alright, okay, uh, oh, I have to click, I, oh, I press the wrong button, there we go. Okay, so, the, I got the menu, chili dogs, let's go! The boy loves a chili dog, Sonic, I hope you're excited, I am super excited. Chili dogs, ramen, chicken, cordon bleu, oh, very fancy. <clears throat> okay, it's a conductor time. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of those do we serve at the dining car? Uh, chicken corner blue! Ding, ding, ding! Glad you can read the menu, okay? <laughs> a little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After about 32 years, I don't blame him for being uh, wistful. I mean, he's been doing it for a long time. I think he just likes to stay with the train and stuff. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's the soda talking. <laughs> Oh, uh, dear. Okay, conductor time. <clears throat> this train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? I'll make you proud, sir. I can't afford to lose this job. No, I'll make you proud, sir. I'll make you proud. Sonic the Hedgehog is on this. Gotta go fast is on this, bro. <laughs> Glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! Wow, the train looks so cool! That is a cool train! Check that out! Thank you so much, guys, for all the really nice words you're saying. Uh, the, the voice acting and everything, thank you so much. I have a really great time doing stuff like this. Sonic, would you prefer pizza or burger? Please read my Jame. Maya the cat girl. I like a good pizza. 
out of those two. Pizzas are awesome. All right, the doors are opening. On you, oh, I recognize some of you. Amy, wow, she looks great, doesn't she? Doesn't she look cool? I love the little cake on the on her hair on the on her hair pin or whatever. Excuse you, Sonic. Excuse me. Smiley face, hard. Just kidding, Mr. Burp King. I am the Burp King. I am the king of all burps. Nobody will ever be able to defeat me in the art of burping. I burp for the ones who can't burp. Uh, I don't know anyone who can't burp, but the people who hide it from everyone else. I express it openly. <laughs> I fidgeted a lot and went crazy. Thank you, Amanda. You are an angel. Okay, I can't do a good tale, so I'm going to struggle. I'm just going to... Uh, I'll just do my best, all right? Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. Oh, Vector, okay. <laughs> You're right, Tails. I could get used to staying on a train like this. I can't do girls, okay? You can't do girls. But, uh, <laughs> this is... Oh, dear, okay. What did you all expect? <laughs> no... You know I always go all out for my birthday party. Oh, it's her birthday? It's Amy's birthday. Amy, if you're here, I'm so sorry. I can't do girl voices, all right? Oh, Rouge, okay. This train, as elegant as you are, Amy, can't promise I won't take anything, no. Ha <laughs> ha, Knuckles, my boy. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a tiny, teeny tiny pen? What a case of characters I'm stuck with. Get a hold of yourself, gotta go fast. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, hey who's that handsome devil? Who's that handsome devil there? Look at him. Mmm, guy's handsome. Oh, look at that hat and that jacket. Oh, he looks so good. He's so handsome. I can't get over it. I'll take you up on that burp challenge. Smirking you, face. You want a Heart. burp challenge? Go. You want to you wanna go? You want to go? You want to jostle with the likes of me? The burp king? I don't think so. Eight hey, chili dogs to drink soda all day long. What do you think? I burp all day. Mm-mm-mm. My dad called me and I missed some of the stream. You're okay, don't worry. We're still right in the beginning. Everybody's just getting on the train. Everything's okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. Okay. Sorry, I was blown over about this handsome captain we just met. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Uh, of course, sir. Uh, are you a pirate? Oh, no. I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's role to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, gotta go fast, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their tickets. Uh, okay, got it. Whoa, the whole crew! Espio's looking fly! Wow, Espio looks great, doesn't he? Wow, oh my goodness. Everybody looks great. Knuckles has got his hat on, a little vest. Wow, this is so cool. Oh, there's even a hand to click on. I didn't even know that. Wow, there's so much. All right, well, we'll start from the end. We'll start, we'll start with Baruch. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Uh, can we get your ticket? My, my, have forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. <laughs> well, she tried. She tried her best and failed. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. 
Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. <laughs> All right, so Rouge is still up to her devious thieving ways, as we can see. Oh, Blaze is here! I, I, I don't even know how to talk like Blaze. She's gonna have a similar voice to Rouge. I, I don't do girl voices, guys. You have to leave me be, okay? I'm doing my best. I'm trying, okay? Uh, <clears throat> may I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. Oh, thank you, music the lover. barely starting, and you're already slaying with these voices. Already Such slaying? <laughs> Thumbs up. I can't do the girls, though. I, that's a, that's a bit I struggle with. Okay, I'm I'm just I'm just do, I'm doing my best. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Princess? Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday. Then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Oh, <laughs> you don't say! Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. <laughs> Why can I not win with this group? Okay, now we got Amy. I'm getting the girls out of the way, okay? <laughs> it's the best way. Could I please get the birthday girls ticket? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing a fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, how fun! Thank you! Where, where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday! The birthday girl gets the birthday key? It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Okay, now we now we got the Grumpus! The Grumpus of them all! Mr. Shadow. Here. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, oh, uh, no, sadly. But I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. That stare, brr, so cold. Gotta go fast, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch you a jacket? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm good. He's stone cold as always. He never, he's here for a murder mystery party on a cool, cool train. And the dude is still grumpy. He wants a bag. He needs a bag. Sonic sounds interesting in his Amy voice. <laughs> That's one way to put it, Mr. Grumpy Shadow, pretty much. All right, it's time for the big green himself. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Ah, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. There's something amiss, sir. Seems I have... Uh, seems to have uh, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. He lost his ticket. We're just going to let him 
We're just gonna let him get on the train. All right, okay, we're just gonna let him on the train. What's this hand thing? Mmm, yummy, don't mind if I do. Gotta go fast. Those are for our guests, you know. Pick the cat, I thank you. I wonder if Sega can sell model toy trains in this. I wonder if Sega can sell model toy trains of this. I wouldn't be surprised. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Would you guys buy a model of the train if you could? Find the computer room? <laughs> I'm trying! Vector voice. Uh, oh, yeah, I got more reading to do. Sorry! Train, be sure I gotta go fast. Only guess one of these if they ask. The arm talks. Does the arm talk? Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, a, a train. The conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that if you go to if you're gonna get what you want. Drat! Those snacks look really tasty too. Espio time! Time to get our Espio on. He looks so cool. I really like Espio's design in this one. He looks great. Duck or Chili Dog? Listen to me! I'm listening to you, Grimlord! Duck is the best. Find the ticket. I don't know where the ticket is. We'll find it. Espio. Could we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? Huh? He's looking right at me! I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. W wow! Ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Well, it's time for the man of the hour! Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Hmm? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. But my kids swore, swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. <laughs> Tell Sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? Well, I don't mean to brag. But... <laughs> Are we going to the North Pole to see Santa Claus? Are we going to the North Pole? Yes, we're going to the North Pole. We're going straight over to the North Pole, and we're gonna, we, we, me and you, me and Tom Hanks and a load of kids, we're gonna go see Santa. We're going on the Polar Express. We're doing it. We're doing it. I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun. Yes, have fun now. Will do. Thanks. Okay, now it's time for my little buddy. Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I try it, when I travel, I always pack my own sp sparkle g uh, gelatin. Uh, that was hard for me. Sparkle gelatin? I got it. <clears throat> it's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way! I've brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're going. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely! If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Now we got good old Knuckles. Howdy, can I please get your ticket? Every voice, positively splendid. Especially Especially Amy's? Thanks, Isaac. Appreciate that. I'm glad you like the Amy voice. I'm, I'm sure everyone else in the chat agrees. 
Thank you. Th I am Sonic World Call of Duty Black Ops World Sonic. <laughs> That's a great name, by the way. Thank you for the donation. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Back at it. Again at Krispy Kreme. Howdy. Can I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good. Thank you. 32 years of service. 32 years of Sonic. 32 years of service. 32 years of Sonic. Yeah, we've been doing pretty good here, haven't we? And I think I have to thank. Well, I've got all of you guys. All of you I have to thank for that. Uh -uh. You guys have been kicking butt. <clears throat> right. Back to the story. We're collecting tickets. Everything looks good. Thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. <clears throat> okay, what do we have here? What's sticking out of the napkin holder? It's a ticket! Is that Vector's ticket? Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's make sure that no one else that uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket added to the inventory. Okay, so probably go talk to Vector again. Found anything yet? Well, we just might have found what you need. Gotta go fast. Why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? This one. Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to both of you. Was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Oh, 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 oh gotta go fast. Here would oh, gotta go fast here wouldn't have, have their hands full kicking you out. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? Yeah, I'm doing all the work here. You're both were right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, uh, the conductor's car? You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Assist gotta go fast. If they need any help, won't you? <laughs> That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than the conductor and his train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. Wow. I'm almost as old as the franchise. You're almost Flesh as old face. as the franchise. Wow. Thank you again, music lover. And um, uh, Shitaki Warrior, thank you for the donation at the beginning of the stream, too. I did not miss it. I saw it. I very much appreciate you. Thank you so much, dude. <clears throat> I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state of the arts and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Gotta Go Fast here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for the for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read, read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of, the mo of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intention. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters that will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday! Of course! Birthday girl makes the rules. 
Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you're the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you'll be the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Bruce, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Hmm, <sighs> sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something? Shadow is the locksmith, hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yep, I think we got it. We're all good. We're all good. We all got this. We've all got this. We've all got this, right? We've all got this. I think we got the, I think we got the characters down. Everybody knows their roles. I know the roles. Let's go. <clears throat> I need a, I need some more pop. I need some more soda. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than all right. You can help ins ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Map added to your inventory. The rules of the games are as follows. There is a murderer among us. You, among, um, among you all. That was hard for me. That was hard for me to do that in the Amy voice. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. But you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. <clears throat> I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations! Alright, the mystery's about to begin! Ah, this is so exciting! I can't get that high up, alright? I would sound more excited as Amy, but it's kind of hard, you know? <clears throat> A mystery is unsolving right under our very noses. I know is kind of scary. How thrilling. I have goosebumps. Same. Ah, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone else? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. <clears throat> Knuckles again. Bought flowers in case you die dot sorry for even earlier. <laughs> oh, you're cool. I'm used to you flying off the handles, Knucklehead. You're cool. This way, there's always a neutral party. Lightning Tiger, thank That's you! That's an odd place to put a butcher. What's a butcher gonna do in a library like the cookbooks? Smiley face. <laughs> you got a good point, Lightning Tiger. Why would you put a butcher in the library? What's he gonna do? Cook a book? That's, that's, uh, that's an interesting one. Uh, makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about... Um, deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, well, probably inspecting their stations and talking Gotta amongst go, one another. Sonic. It's Mario time. Gotta go, Sonic. It's Mario time. You have to go see the Mario movie? Have a great time, Sabuna. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming by. Don't forget your hug on the way out. Hola, Santiago. How's it going, everybody? Anybody new into the stream? Welcome, everyone. How you doing? We're about to solve the... We're, we're doing a murder mystery. 
Everyone has a role to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their characters' motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this kind of sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Oh! <clears throat> What's going on? What's going on? What's happening? The train starts started moving. It's so fast. Grab onto something. What is going on? Ah, oh, I'm slipping. Hold on. I can't. Oh! Ah! No! What's happening to the train? Nosy Amy, I know, right? I fall into the supply co closet. You're both awake. Yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone all right? Well, how exhilarating! Uh, is everyone all right? We gotta check on everybody. We gotta make sure everyone's okay. That's the important thing. Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been not knocked into the dining car's closet. Sabuda! Have fun with murder on the Sonic Express. Oh, I will. I'm gonna solve the mystery. Don't you worry about that. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check out the others. Gotta go fast. Can you get the door? Of course. Hmm, it seems the door is blocked, and I don't think it's budget. Amy, give, give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Uh, let's find another way out. I, uh, start looking for clues? I'll search over here. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Uh, huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet. Then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. Okay. Amy acted sus. She's been playing Among Us too much. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. I'm part of the game. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Uh, trash can? Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, there is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? Hmm, what else we got? DIY! I loved all your voices. Especially shadows and vectors. Can't wait to see you react to the rest of this game. I'm have I'm having a blast so far. It's been super fun. I hope you're enjoying yourself too. I hope everybody's having fun. Thank you so much, DIY Arts. That's so nice of you. Uh, let's check this. The shelf blocking our exit is currently not budging. Hey, gotta go fast. Look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen onto. Or into. I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is added to the inventory. Ah, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilt juice on the grocery store, 
No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is fast, as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? Let me get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot used lately. Uh, Becky, thank you very much for five dollars. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. I could cook a mean cast iron pizza. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. Okay, so we've done that, we've done that. Is there anything else? Uh, that's just doing the same thing again. Okay, I guess we just go straight to Amy. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we need two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out? On a train? I'll keep looking. Uh, talk! Oh, we did that. She found a spoon. Uh, let's go, never mind. There's gotta be another way out of here. Let's see if there's any other things I could. Oh, a baseball bat! What's this, a rod? The tip is broken. It looks. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around. So we'll keep it. Stick! We got a stick! How cool, a stick! I think we found enough clues. Let's go and interrogate Amy and find out what we really happened. Alright, Amy. Interrogate! Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You're accusing me of my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Attempted to escape, microwave the chili dog, murdered a suspect? Murdered a suspect! There is no one here other than you and Tails. And are either of you murdered? Plus, Amy and I are roles that can't be murderers. Hmm. Some rethinking is in order. Amy was awake before the... Yep, okay. Uh, attempt to escape. <clears throat> I don't think you were sitting idly while Gotta Go Fast and I were knocked out. You attempt to escape the closet. Prove it! Show me evidence that I attempt to escape. Or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Gotta go fast. Let me step let me step you through this. First find the correct piece of evidence from your evidence infantry. Once that has been deducted, alright, okay, let's do this. What proves Amy attempted to break to escape the dining closet? Uh this one! A crack in the shelf. What? Some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, Tails. What now? Well, now we follow the train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself. Well, you see, I, um, well... Um... <clears throat> when I get stumped, I like to think, what would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses. Like... Like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Ah, sure. Whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. Alright. Let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Like I would do! Uh, okay, so it's...
Right, I got it. Oh. I could just jump those. Not enough rings. All right, okay, I'm learning. Because, uh... Ha <laughs> I knew you were grasping. Let's go fast, let's... Yeah, okay, I'm... We're going again! Going again! There we go. We got it. I'm getting the hang of it now. I got this. Idea! Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on the train, this well kept, that the damage was here before we arrived? Ah, <sighs> shocker. Well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? This! The stick! It was the stick! What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Mm. Oh, back at it again! There we go, easy! Got the hang of it now! The stick! You're right, a stick couldn't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could ease... It could, like, it, let's say, a hammer. Ah! This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh, ah! Got it! It's as you both said. I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expect your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective, and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see how both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten thing here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, step back. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. I, I don't claim to be a good Tails or Amy voice actor, okay? I'm doing my best. It's the only two characters out there that I don't really have much control over. Wait, is that... <gasps> it's me! No! <laughs> Why is it always the most handsome ones that die? Why? Why me? <laughs> it's sad. All right, let's just head to the next car, guys. Right, we're off to the next. This is it. It can't be. Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic. Why is she so happy about it? Why is she happy about my death, Amy? Word. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait. I want to figure it out who did this too. Wait for me. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. It was really convincing, Sonic. <gasps> Sonic.
Sonic. Eh. Body numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist and I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery or is this serious? Sonic? Sonic! Oh no, no, I feel myself panicking! Calm down, gotta go fast. What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure you're paying, you're, you're paying guests and blah, 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 blah. These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they're most, they must be remarkably rich. So I leave their care to you, gotta go fast, my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. <laughs> or will I? I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. And so am I Am I really dead? Or am I, am I pretend dead? I don't know at this point. This might be a real dead. Not, not, not fake, not fake party dead. Ah, we're in the saloon. Howdy, partner. Whoa, look at this place. Uh, hey, Tails, where are you? Gotta go fast, I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all, we're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, promise. Plus Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? Yeah. If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now, if I ever need a snack, you've got me. There. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. Oh, Knuckles, thank you, buddy. He drops flowers, crying face. Let's get this over with and bury him. I don't just bury. We're on a train. You can't just bury me. I'm on a train, dude. No burying. On a train. Wait, wait, patience. Why is Sonic sleeping? He might not even be sleeping. Maybe he's actually dying. We don't know. F's in the chat for, for me! F's in the chat for me! <laughs> if you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh... Where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. Yeah, varmints. What are y'all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed, moseyed through and told me all about it. <coughs> Enough of that. I wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what... Uh, tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us to establish your alibi and... Nope. I have nothing to tell you either. Oh. I really hope that this game gets plenty of attention and traction. I'd love to see Sega and Sonic Team dabble a bit more into visual novel style like this. I really enjoyed both frontiers in this. 
Yeah, so far so good. I've been really enjoying it so far. Thank you so much for the donation, CK. It's very nice of you. Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Gotta go fast, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it! Trash can! Always check the trash cans! Always! I know not all trash cans have anything in them, but you gotta check them all! That's how this works! Real detectives check everything. Something's always happening in the trash, hidden in the trash can. Let's check it there. Sadly, this one is empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. I agree. That is a genuine statement right there. I completely agree. Just have faith, Tails. Eventually, I'll find something in the trash. Then, only then, you'll know. You'll know it's me. Better yet, toss his body out the window. Cast his body out the window? Thanks, Chip! I appreciate you! Real nice! Don't just throw me out the window! Come on! Rude! Thank you for the donation, though. I appreciate it. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> I think Tails is ignoring me. Uh, this machine. Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Hey, that's another Sega reference! That's a Sega reference! Super Monkey Ball, let's go, baby! Fred the Fish! Sonic's so dedicated to his character that he straight up died. Impressive method acting. Impressive method acting indeed. I mean, when I go for broke, you know I go for it. I'm, 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 I'm going, I go all out. Don't toss his body out the window. No, we don't need that. I'm not going flying out the window. Uh, do, do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from punches. Knuckles. What could have done that? What are you two looking at me for? Smashed arcade is added to the thingy. What do we got here? Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Huh? Seems like someone licked all the salt off them. What? <laughs> oh, maybe they're just unsalted. The robotic arm here are really helpful. Hello, hello, Mr. Hand. What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What? Interesting tech. Oh, sure. I f should I fear for my job a little Gotta bit? Gotta ditch the evidence. What? <laughs> Gotta ditch the evidence? Did you kill me, Chip? Are you the murderer? Is it you? We figured it out. It's, it's, it's Chip Zion. Or Zeon. It's you, isn't it? Uh-oh, should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it, can it microwave? Gotta go fast. This is interesting. What is it? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? One's got lipstick! Gotta go fast. This one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. <clears throat> Someone else is here with lipstick, not Knuckles. Knuckles' lipstick is not on there. We should lock this. Use cups. All right. I think we have enough evidence. Let's go and interrogate. I thought I told you to leave me alone. <laughs> Please don't beat me up. I like your hat. I like your hat. <laughs> oh, he's blushing. Aww. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Could you just adjust your hat a little bit so we can see it better? I said leave! 
interrogate. We're interrogating him. Knuckles gotta go fast, and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you. Buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Huh? It is? We have evidence, too. We do? Gotta go fast. Just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Uh, it was the computer game. The arcade machine? Huh. What makes you think I touched it? Well, you smashed it! It just got punches! I'm concentrating here. Oh, let's go, baby. Ten. We had ten more than we needed. Ten more than we needed. Let's go, baby. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because your hair was found at the scene. The arcade cabinet is covered in punches. Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game. It's the middle one, chat. It's the middle one! Come on! We know we punched it! It's covered in punch marks! What evidence what evidence do you have that it damages your punches? <coughs> I need another drink. I need I need some more soda. Doing all these voices is hurting my throat. So many different voices, I'm not used to doing. I normally just I just normally talk talk like myself, you know? If I was just talking like myself the whole time, it'd be a lot easier, but I gotta give Gotta give characters voices, chat. This is how we do things here. Do 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 do. Oh, we could. Did we get a big donation? Oh, there it is, Andrew. Flood your office with more Yu-Gi-Oh cards. The more, the merrier. Enjoy, my bro. Never get sold dropping the big donos for you. Thumbs up. Thank you, buddy. That really does mean a lot to me. Thank you, Andrew. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Who's a good boy? We know who it is. He's sweating. He's hiding something. <clears throat> okay. What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag, and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you? I'm on it. Gotta go fast. Distract Knuckles while I fix some fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Okay, I gotta collect more rings. Thirty rings. That looks super easy. The arcade machine is fixed. No! Don't look at the scores! Quick! Look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now. Okay, what does it tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. Uh. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Uh. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. What's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here. Now! He's on it. I just oh, want to say that I love everything about your channel. You're one of my favorite Sonic channels ever. Thanks for playing this game. You're awesome. They, no, thank you. You're awesome. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm super distracted. That I am. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't make it that time. That was hard. That one was way harder. 
You have nothing. Suits. Nada. Now leave, you two. Yeah, we'll try again. Thank you, Naomi. That was super sweet of you. Thank you so much. No, I jumped! I pressed jump! Come on! Come on. This is super cool. This is so cool. No! Come on! Oh, they need one! There we go! Here we go, baby! Let's go! Oh! Made that look easy that time! That time I made it look easy! Thank you, Naomi! Thank you, Andrew! Thank you, everybody so far who has been supporting the channel with your donations and all of your support for watching my videos! It's super, super appreciated, and I love every single one of you. Every single one! All of you in chat, love you guys. Now, gotta go fast. What proves Vector was here with Knuckles? Uh, the glasses? No! I thought it was strange that there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks and played arcade. It's, um, uh, it's not like... It's not... I, I wasn't... Ugh. So, uh, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say. Vector popped, it, popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story. And alibi. I'll, I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what are the cups with the lipstick mark? Hmm. Rouge was here too. Rouge! Rouge here too? Well... Now the plot thickens! Rouge, Vector, and Knuckles were both here. But where's Rouge now? It's inconsequential. Not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed. Have fun on our game. And left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I told her everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm. I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something, and left, then Knuckles destroyed the machine. Finding Tiger! If it gets too hard, you can always adjust the settings and the options to disable stuff like pitfalls and ring counts. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna cheat! That's cheating! I'm not gonna do that. Ah, oh, we're gonna kick butt. That's what we're gonna do. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our quest. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Huh? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Gotta go fast. Can you take a look at one more time? Uh, an odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? Hmm. There's Vector, Knuckles, Toast, Apple, Bread, All Tim, Bagel, and Candy. How are... What, what is odd about these names? Well, obviously, Toast, Apple, Bread are all food. Is, is it old tip? Hmm. Ultim! Ultimate life form! Hmm. All the other names have food themes, but this one... Who here goes by old tip? You may not know, gotta go fast, but there is someone here that does go by that title. 
the ultimate life form. There's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us a game and he was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. <clears throat> it's a key! Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him so no one else would... No one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not, uh, not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No. I think she was... She had some sort of key, too. That's right, the conductor gave her the special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rue searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourself. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We all know we all know you're sure <clears throat> when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an ear for, for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, gotta go fast. Let's head to the library. On it! This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. I mean, it is! I, I don't want to spend all day microwaving chili dogs just for someone else to eat them! I want to eat them! Mm. <clears throat> gotta go fast! Coming! Alright. We can go on! Ready to mosey down to the next car? You got it, partner. Onwards! Let's go. We figure it out! Oh, the library. Hang in there! Look at the little chow. Aww. <clears throat> All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your present. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm, Vector. It seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Uh, have you found any leads? Want to join us in finding clues? Uh, have you found any leads? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl? I'm gonna burp again! No! <coughs> ah! <coughs> oh dear. Ah, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick. But how are you gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh, just making sure things go well. Here to ask if anyone's hungry. Making sure anything's going well. Things aren't going great. Not sure if you've forgotten, but there was a murder. Well, I mean, besides that. Besides murder? 
Uh, my social skills non-existent. I'm Vector the Butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A renaissance message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of of prowess. Prowess. <sniffs> Can I hear some? Sure. Uh, teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la. Dee 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 dee. What was that? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm not satisfied for now. Thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Okay, so he's not good at what he... He's not good at it. He's not good at it. Okay, never mind. It's fine. He's trying his best. Gotta go fast, and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leaving the dining car? Oh, sure. It's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we're all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all pass through this library car. Where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon bar. Saloon car, even. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search for the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. I wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino, the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us at showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him. Then returned to the, lo the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car, where we stuck in the we were stuck in the library car. That's where the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it. We got through it all right. We, s we sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. With all these locked doors, it seems Victor and Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We just gotta peek around, and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it for ya! If you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid, though, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves that their saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the, li in the library car reading. <clears throat> it's hard to keep these voices up, but I'm doing my best. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Well, let's look at the brochures first. Ooh, brochures. There are travel dis destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Gotta go fast. Look at this. There's a couple of maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I'd love a good overhead map. Let's take it. 
Okay. Should we take this brochure above a cave, too? Look, there's stalactites. Nah, I'll leave it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Nobody shares it, chat. Nobody shares their fondness for caves. Why do, do you like caves? I love caves. Hope you love caves. Caves? I agree, Espio kind of sussy. You think he's sus, huh? Okay. Books on the floor. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out of by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of those out of just searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are, crease are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Something's always hidden in the trash! Let's check there! I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Aw, oh, I really thought there'd be something there. Gotta go fast. Are you sad that there was nothing in the trash bin? N no no I'm all right. I'm sure uh, I'm, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we, we find. You really think so? Uh, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah yeah okay there's there's trash bins hides a secret. I'm sure of it. Gotta go fast. You're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Was that supposed to be a compliment? I love quills. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Okay. There's a book there. What's that bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reeks of the evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep. This is a Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any books who he's written. It's weird that it's even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet? You may not be wrong. A globe? A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of war wonderful people and shops. The food can be, can't be beat either. Ugh, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagon Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you've ever visited, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and make one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? They certainly have. Okay. What else? A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text above says, hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. This little chow hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly safely, because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way that that was that, was that much thought. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster. Right? Right? Uh, table. Ah, uh, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy. So plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Gotta go fast? No, don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. How many rings would you have? Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be, f to be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Uh, ooh. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. All right, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's 
scavengingly thorough all, f through all the books' titles succeedingly. It's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out of the floor and everything, but every book on this shelf is in alphabetical order, but this one... It's the manual for the train! All right. It's a user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Okay. Note. Noted. Uh. Check the bins. Done that. Check with Espio. A uh, vector, even. Vector! Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they. Uh, but. They confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup-stained apron, not a butcher. I think you had a knife on you. We definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm. But what if I hit the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Uh, can I take your order? Oh, yes, please. I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. Then why would you show the menu to me? Come on, gotta go fast. Why would you tease him like that? And here, I thought I could trust you. You made a fool out of me. Still gotta go fast. You made him a fool. Come on, gotta go fast. Smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah. Yeah. I smooth things over, but at what cost? Now I'm the fool! Fancy a poem. Can I get a poem about space? Can I get a poem about trains? Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my motion. The window shows the ocean. Oh wait, that's my motion. It's perfect! It's the most perfect poem in the world! I'm so proud of my chameleon friend. Uh, thanks. I actually really like that one. Huh? Uh, talk. What will it be? Uh, space. I've made it up to, to space with my beloved antique vase, but I mistake in my haste. Dropped the vase from my embrace, so my antique I must now replace. What caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply. It's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? Very well. Let's have a look at the door. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked the door on his way out. There's got to be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadows lock. I think we found enough clues. All right, let's go and interrogate. Did you bring me in and meet the chap? So, the two of you don't believe us, huh? It's not that I don't trust you, Vervue, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the viability of your alibis. Gotta go fast and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car? Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remembered the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. And that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading. 
But when you actually reading the entire time, you were in the library car? Of course he was. Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop until it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if he was embar what if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what that book might be. Gotta go fast, can you help me out? I think I know the book! It's the locomotive, it's the, the, the train book! Espio is sus! It's, it, yeah, it's sus! Look at his face! He's sussy boy! Mm. <clears throat> That's a sussy boy! Hello, Amy Rose, how you doing? Alright, gotta go fast. What book do you think Espio might have been reading? That one! A manual? You think Espio was reading a manual? What argument would you possibly have to support this? It wasn't in alphabetical order! Oh, I can just hold the button. Oh, wow, okay. I see. Aha, not today! Oh, it's one away! Come on! Come on, one away! Alright, we got this. I got plenty. Good boing. Good boing. Ha ha! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <clears throat> there are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, Espio. Hey now, I'm... I won't have you insulting my pal like that! Calm down, Victor. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Gotta go fast, if you don't mind. Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove you've read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Uh, 362. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself, though I had a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like Espio aced that question, gotta go fast. Hit him with another one. Oh, okay, uh, which page should I choose? Uh, 15! What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, gotta go fast. Let's see if Espio can get three for three. Gotcha, which page should I pick last? Uh, 402. What was implemented to support the conductor's duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with 
the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suit of capabilities without the conductor's presence. Now, did I pass your little test? Yes! Totally! It's wild you're able to retain all this information so quickly! A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too sus suspect to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that! Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all the questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yeah, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that could be true. And we have evidence to back it up. Gotta go fast? He always puts me on the spot. Okay, gotta go fast. Think. We should have a piece of evidence linked to something that also saw Espio reading. But what? that got to do with anything we're up gotta go fast let's get our argument together i don't know if it is the lock i just picked it randomly coins rings shadow walked through the library card to get the saloon car when he set the original high score on the arcade machine yeah but i ended up beating it it wasn't the high score for long crocs are natural gamers espio said he saw shadow enter the library car but he's mentioned nothing about shadow's return he only mentioned that vector came back when Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. Oh, Saucy Baka! We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car where he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just, uh, fully immersed in my book, and that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I... you see... I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that has he was reading the entire time isn't easy! He's saucy! So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment you were really in the library car at all. But how could Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear gotta go fast. One that I could I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. My cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow passing back through the library car. Honest! When Vector returned, he had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that! I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, 
Where did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sit sitting reading, or did somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the sh library car? What should I do? Uh, I'm joining Tails! He's, he's pretty sussy! No, I can't interrupt Tails while he's on something. I'll let him continue this line of questioning and... Gotta go fast, my favorite and beloved employee. Please, protect the passengers aboard the train. They must be taken care of. Raiden! Hey, Sonic, you should invite Hatsune Miku to the channel sometime if she isn't busy. You know that girl be busy, yo. Hatsume Miku is busy, busy, busy. Thank you for the donation, though, buddy. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get her on the channel. If you fail, the lawsuit will be torturous. Don't allow such an old, feeble soul to get sued. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails? We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? Uh, this one. All right, now let's get my thoughts in order. I'm just picking things now. Oh, okay. So close! Here we go! And done! Let's go! We did it! The library map? Oh, oh, I see! See the exits? They're right across from one another, a straight path. If Shadow walked down the straight path, there's no way Espio and Shadow could have even seen each other. Looks like you have to. You have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? So it's a straight path. There. Interesting. That's where I was sitting, reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio, or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense when you never have mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you could have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping desperate, desperate, telling... Grasp... I'll get the words out! I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. We did it? An another pair of alibis validated. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are super comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh? It seems the doors to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give him heck, and if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose, while doors keep getting locked. Tick, tick, tock goes the clock, while our heroes are in caboose. At this point, I'm pr feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, gotta go fast. Let's see what's next. Coming!
You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? Uh, the mystery calls, chat. Chat, the mystery calls. Who has the key to unlock? Amy unlocked the car. She has a birthday key to unlocks all doors. Okay, the investigation continues. Let's -a go! The casino. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We've visited every train car so far, and everyone said that they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you've brought the Microwave Master with you. Uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him, Rouge. We got nothing to... We're gonna need the help. Blaze? All right. I've been hunting for a treasure room to be stored here on the train. T treasure? You certainly didn't tell me about treasure in this in, in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. All right. Well, it's a Fabergé Chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She roped me in the hunt. Immediately, I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deducted that the Fabergé Chow egg is here in this, car in this train car locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, you don't... Well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, find us, keep it, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator being behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé Chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chances of success grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal their Fabergé chow egg? Blaze? You don't have a problem with this? I see no issue here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, uh, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Gotta go fast. Do you have any opinions on this? Dealing is for squares. It's time for five finger disco. Hi, Jaden. I said, there you go. I say, I say, hi. Uh, ceiling is for squares. I think the only square here is you, microwave master. I must admit that wasn't the coolest thing I've ever, I've heard someone say. N no, my cool and mysterious repetition is crumbling. All right, all right, I'm in. I'll help. Well, I suppose if both Rouge and Gotta Go Fast are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé egg. <laughs> That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Access to the Fabergé Chow egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we... Attack the guard, bribe the guard, destroy... Uh, distract the guard! Distract them? Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Gotta go fast. Is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. 
seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs to work. Okay, who is distracting the security guard? Who's distracting the security guard? It's gotta be Rouge, right? Of course I'll distract them. Who could resist my feminine charms? I'm not sure how effective your charms would be on a chow. Plus, your flight might your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure if you being the distraction makes sense. Oh well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. Uh, Blaze? Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I have never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great! Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Pretend to claw machine is stuck. Push a bunch of poker chips to the floor. Ask the chow about their partner and kids. Push poker chips to the floor. Causing a ruckus. I like it a lot. That'll get the guard's attention for sure. Let's move forward. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? Uh, pick their, probably pick their, uh, grab them and fly up to the rafters. Uh, pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access code, no problem. That chow in the uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to make anything else from, try not to take anything else from them, if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Gotta go fast, what's your plan? To say there's a drink without a coaster, push the security guard over, pretend your Blaze is- Pretend that she's my wife! It's what I'm going with! Then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, I... Um... You dress far too plain. You would need a complete refashioning re immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. <laughs> Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. You would have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else! With the card, yeah. Okay. Uh... Say there's a drink of coaster. Absolutely vile! I can think of nothing worse! Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great! And with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like... And just like that, we all make it into the elevator inside, we... Celebratory dance! Pop some apple cider, sing victory a cappella. Celebratory dance! Now that's a proper victory! Oh no. One last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arm attacking from the ceiling? High five each of them? Have tails disable them? Tie them into a big knot. Let's high five them! The end of those arms are claws. I'm not touching them. My high fives aren't even away willy. I don't give away high fives willy nilly. They're not to be cherished. I don't think my hands are, would survive a high five from them. Let's rethink this. Okay. Have tails disable them. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Cry and hope they're sympathetic? <laughs> Imagine you're not in pain, pretend there's nothing wrong. Uh... Cry and hope they're sympathetic. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right, let's see what's up that elevator. So we got the plan. 
plan is in motion. I knew, I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter, now we'll claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> uh, this one? No, no question, that has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter in the code on the blueprint and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart, let's see, 230401. Oh, wow. It's here, <laughs> I have it. All right, before anything's, anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo, we can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever. Rouge, spit it out, or what are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding in their own individual secret. No one knows the secret, because everyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You could open the egg? Lightning Tiger! Shall I all accept the last? They're all funny. They're all funny? I think, I think it was too late. <laughs> Sorry. You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Uh-oh, it's ticking! Uh-oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg secret because each egg is a bomb? I think you're on to something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it after all our hard work? Rouge! Fine, fine. What do we do? What do we... Where do we put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Uh, throw it... Uh, uh, throw and lock it in the safe. Quick, put the egg back, Rouge! Uh, okay, fine. It's going back in. Tails, the safe won't lock. The door's staying open. What? Close the door and twist the the dial. I obviously am, and most and must be some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How are you supposed to? We don't have time to mess with this. Thinking of something. Think of something else. Uh, twist the egg again. Great idea. Stop, stop, that's clearly not working. There's things of some let's think of something else. Uh smash the egg against the wall! Alright, here goes nothing. Rouge! We uh we probably think of a different plan. Uh tell tell the egg to stop! Stop! That did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Rock the egg to sleep! So you think this egg is just cranky and needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the idea guy. Let Tails cool it down with his tails. Chaos control the egg away. Flip the egg upside down. Gotta go fast. What's flipping it going to do? I don't know. Try it. Nothing. Happy? Yes. Toss the... Uh, eat the egg. Take one for the team. Have Blaze set the egg on fire. Let Rouge kiss the egg. It's as they say, love always prevails. I still hear the ticking. <laughs> what a prude. Toss the egg in the elevator. All right, down it goes. We're clearly not going to blow up the elevator unless we feed this. Chaos control. Where did you hear about chaos control? doesn't matter. We need a Chaos Emerald to be able to do that. Well, dang it! Uh, eat the egg! Not without any salt, I won't. Really gotta go fast? Probably a poor time for jokes, huh? Let it finish ticking and see what happens? 
Open it up and see where the wire's cut. What do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire, you gotta cut one, like the movies. This isn't a movie, gotta go fast, this is real life. Ugh, oh, it's got a good point. Uh, let it finish ticking. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, gotta go fast. That is our goal. Listen, listen, I got that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Gotta go fast, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. They detect bombs! They detect bombs! So they would know, right? So that that's how! The, the train knows if there's bombs on there. Yeah, see, look? The robotic arms know about the bombs. Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seems to have a lot of function here on the train. If a bomb was bought on the, the train disguised as a Fabergé uh, chow egg, the arms would have detected it and would have, uh, wouldn't allow it on. The other person who knows the coming and going on the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. Do do do. The egg. It opened. It's hollow. Not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Phew. My my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right. Thankfully! Eee! And look what's inside! Wow, look at that sparkle! And it's so heavy, too! The final secret to the Fabergé Chow Egg is a chow covered in gems! It's perfect! It's exquisite! It's revolutionary! Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the... T Tell the Fabergé Chow Egg secret. I wonder why, if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us? I don't know, who cares? What a precious treasure, a beauty to behold! Maybe they're naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Ah, as much fun as this was, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call, let's go. We stole a Chow thingy! We're, we're common criminals now. Can't get away with that. No one seems to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at their post. Hopefully they subdued the drink coaster fiend, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun. But I prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge... Rouge? She seems completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? What? Oh, what is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you've done... Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? While I appreciate your assistance, it's as I said, the finder's keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise I'll let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. A key! We have a key! What is Rouge hiding? I don't think she's actually hiding anything. I generally think she just came to steal something. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. 
The door is unlocked. Both of you are safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, gotta go fast. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Ready to get going? Let's go. Let's go. Where's Silver? He's not in this. Hi, CCV. Welcome. The lounge car. Shadow, we have you to talk to. We have to talk to you about stuff. Uh. Now is as, now is as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm. You, I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. Well, we'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You, you lot have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, gotta go fast. It seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. All right. Ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear. Gotta go fast. There's another robot arm. Just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no. But I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Bring me a cold chaos cola? Hmm, nope. Not listening to me. <sighs> quite parched too I could run and get a chaos cola for you oh uh, no no I'll be all right thank thank you tails I'm the one that's supposed to be running work I should be I'm blah, 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 blah. I am the one who's supposed to be working here after all the band hey it's the big chow it's the big chow band play as a ditty They don't miss. Those chows un those chows understand music? Hmm. What's this? Gotta go fast. Could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out. I just think you should do it. I'll open it. Alright, watch a pro. Ah! Heck! <laughs> All this dust! You opened the door too fast! It blew everywhere! <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Hmm? Tails, you see this? The pull string? Gotta go fast! What? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened! Oh no, that was Tails! Ha! <laughs> Whoops! There is a full passageway back here! Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. Something big! It goes to the library cart? This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library? I don't believe it. Shh, quick. Back through the passage before they spot us. Interesting. Welcome back, I love quills. Thanks for coming back. Hmm. We need to add that to our inventory. Hidden passage. So there's a hidden passage from the lounge to the library. So completely null and voids the casino. What else do we have here? What's this? 
They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Ooh. Hmm. A key ring? Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting. There's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. Okay. Trash! The trash can! There's got to be something in the trash can this time! Come on! Something in the trash can! Tails? No. Tails? I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, gotta go fast. And you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin? Gotta go fast. There's always something in the trash bin! <sighs> Alright, let's check the trash bin. What's this? <laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what that is? It's a... Let's add it to our inventory! Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin! Rumpled paper. I think we found enough clues. Okay, we're, inter we're interrogating. Let's go. I'm switching in and out of my voice and Tails' voice so very often that I, I, I'm losing the will to live. Help me, Chad. Help me. How are we doing? Are we, are we piecing things together, Chad? Are we piecing things together? Hey, Sonic, how are you doing so far? So far, we're, we're doing pretty good. Uh, there's some saucy bakas on this train. JDP Gaming, thank you, hey, bud. Love your streams, pal. I already played it, but I promise you, you'll love how this turns out. Mm. I'm looking forward to it. I'm waiting to find out now. So we're going to talk to Shadow. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare's so cold. You know, maybe we'll get out of here, actually. Gotta go fast, we certainly will not! Shadow, we have a questions for you! Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why! Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip! Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly! We're ready! According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed! This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping from the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car and then locked all the others so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all, get out of here and leave me be. Well, my source can back up the, these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims that they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Isn't the logic... Is the logic sound, though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along to follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. 
I think gotta go fast and I can explain the car change, however. Gotta go fast? What evidence do we have to show Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Uh, is it this one, the hidden passage? Okay, just my thoughts in this order. All right, okay, we got a game. We're gaming, 55. and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A, a secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. It's excellent work, gotta go fast. Hmm. This adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor's car, but then through the crime scene, being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor's car, and the way out dropped the body off the dining car. Jay Gaming, thanks for becoming a speedster. Thanks, buddy. You're a super fast guy. Your shoes are in the mail. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I, uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ha! <laughs> Seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, Be the Espio wouldn't have seen him because he was sitting in this in the, the space and Vector wasn't there because Vector was in the other room playing monkey ball. Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Gotta go fast. Do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because Vector was with Knuckles. Espio was reading. That's true. Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow enter the library car. See? Things are falling into place. But what about Espio? I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at the table reading. Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at the whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio. But he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I'd believe you. You're currently my number one suspect. Why would you even... Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I need to give him a key. As if. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us just seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. Revenge! Would it be the stupid scientist who killed you? The stupid scientist? Well, who knows? I'm sure we're going to find out soon by the looks of it. We're nearly there, I think. Bro, please voice Shadow in the Uwuverse. The voice is actually so spot on. Thank you. I appreciate that. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys. Perhaps gotta go fast and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We well, can do that? Gotta go fast. What evidence supports Shadow's claims that he was giving away keys? That one! Because he's, he's only got two left. That feels good. Now, now to get the thought. So I gotta do the game again. Okay. 60 this time. Uh, 
I got this. Yeah, let's go, baby. Your boy did it first time. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were two keys Shadow's meant to give to Espio and Vector. No way! Well... Oh! Your attempt at autophysis is super phenomenal. You are one of the most amazing voice actors I've come to grow and love. Much love to you, man. Thank you, Jay. That's super nice of you. Thank you so much. He's a nice guy. Well, one of his own keys. Could, couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. <laughs> Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could have been locking all the car, all the doors? Amy Rose, thank you for the 99 cents. It's very nice of you. Thank you so much. She's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly aren't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think gotta go fast and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Gotta go fast? Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory. But I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted to keep us away? Shadow couldn't find us? Shadow couldn't find us. Maybe, but Shadow knew Amy. You and I started in the dining car. He could have given us keys if he wanted to. That's a compelling argument. So maybe... Wanted to keep us away. Is Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us gotta go fast. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Ah, uh, how dare! Gotta go fast! Show me evidence! Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Tail Six Shadow was trying to keep just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? It was the crumpled paper! Because he was trying to find her favorite band! That feels right. Phew, just organize my thoughts. Oh, back to this again! Okay. What a way! Got it! Boom! You went rooting through the trash. Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's off a band ticket's website. Tails jokes. 
Daddy's website. No way, I love them. Voices for characters are cool. Having fun? I'm having a blast, thank you, Ale uh, Alexis. This has been really fun. Thank you so much for the donation. It's so sweet of you. Uh, hot honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is my current favorite. All the members have B after their names? Yes, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be really, you have to be ready online at the specific time and then sell, sell out in minutes. So the question comes, oh, Jay. Best Sonic.exe game you played a few days ago was Pure Nightmare Fuel. Love the video. Also loving the Portal vs. series. Hashtag road to 600k. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, the Portal Verse has been really fun. Uh, there's gonna be a delay in the Portal Verse only because um, uh, Cutie Cat isn't feeling too well. So we need to uh, wait till she's feeling a little bit better. And then, uh, and then we're gonna be recording the next episode. But uh, we, we do have some interesting things lined up in the portal first. So keep make keep keep watching them. I, I put them all on a playlist so you can watch them in order now. They're on the playlist on the channel. So make sure to go check those out too. Watch them in order. This is a lot of fun. But uh, yes, thank you so much. And uh, the, the EXE game was actually a lot of fun to play. It messed with my computer so badly though. I had to literally restart my computer because it actually kept a cracked screen mark on my screen and I couldn't get it off like at all. I couldn't remove it. It was crazy. All right, back to the game. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The suspicion is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey Band's ticket website exists because Shadow it was buying a ticket for Amy. Yep, that was his birthday present. What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding this prize, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Sh shadow I used that printer earlier and I found it this difficult to manage. When logging out to the website, did you print the home page by accident? How the Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. This feels like Sonic the Hedgehog Ace Attorney. Right? It's like Ace Attorney! It kind of reminds me of Danganronpa a little bit, too. Like, you have to play, like, little mini-games. You have to find the... You have to use the right evidence and everything. Thank you so much, Mark Galvin! Mark Galvin! For the, uh, donation there. Thank you so much. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder... Spill everything, Shadow! The cat's out of the bag! I want to know everything! Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof, probably our fault there. Uh, sorry, that's all a detective's job is, I suppose. Hmm. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remember Amy had seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets were actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the ap appointment you kept speaking of? The time you were able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I have purchased the ticket. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets. So I began to locking all the doors. Before the safety of everyone, I handled, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every every locked door with this with ease with ease 
The plan's fatal flaw. The birthday key. The birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I... Your gesture is so sweet. And after I accused you, too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later and make it up to you. You can come with me. I... It's happening. I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. <sighs> Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expected lots of pictures from the concert, you two. <laughs> Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors have finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter, damn the down the drain! Amy, I am curious. Who is the source of your, uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles may stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Gotta go fast, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good! Right on then, let's do it! Let's go, baby! It's time to figure it out! Let's finish this! It's now or never! Who could it be? This whole time... Conductor's car. Spilt cup of coffee I see over there should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on! Controls? I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. Lightning Tiger! Check the speaker, you'll like these options. Check the speaker, you'll like these options? Alright, I'll check them. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. DIY, thanks for becoming a speedster, dude! I appreciate it! Running shoes in the mail! It's true, you could drive this train flawlessly. Aw, oh, guys! Speakers. A microphone? We could talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, I should say something. Start beatboxing. If you could hear this, your armpit stick. Start beatboxing! Knuckles! PSSD Tails. Between you and me, think Sonic Jelly. Jelly? I'm not jelly. We're all friends here. We all hang out with each other individually at times. It's fine. No big deal. Thank you for the donation, nobody. Gotta go fast. Why are you reaching for the mic? Dip, dip, dip. Just, uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive. Gotta go fast. Thank you for sharing. Can I do it again? Uh, your armpit stink. Oh, you're reaching for the microphone? If you could hear this, your armpit stink! My armpits certainly do not. They're clean. Uh, I'm, uh, sure they are. Tails, uh, was just being silly. Perhaps not the audience for that sort of joke. 
Ooh. Hmm, what's this? Was someone playing darts? There's a blow dart! That's what made me fall asleep. Go sleepy! That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon on this train. Hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. It's the conductor, isn't it? It's definitely the conductor, because it only searches passengers. Only passengers. I'm smart! I'm using my brain! Let's make note of this. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break it out of its grip. A lot of people have said I've had the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should lock this. Aye, aye, sir. I think we have enough evidence. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. What about this? We didn't, we didn't look at this. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. All right, all right, we get it. He loves his wife. Well, you two, you think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think? Gotta go fast? Ready to solve this case? Yes, I am! It's the conductor, baby! I'm sure of it! Hello, everyone! This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor's car at once. Sapphire, thank you! Just wanted to say that my time here has been fun. I hope you've had fun. I'm, gl I'm glad you spent it with me today. Aw, Chad, it's like we're having a little date. You ever think about that? We're having a little date, Chad. All right, so everybody's everybody's coming to the cart, except for me. Everyone. Uh, uh, soda. I'm sorry. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Gotta Help Fast. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Vector! Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him! Let me tell you, darling, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amen amenities, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of, ca of, the, of a chase. I see why you, you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I have a lot of good... You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'll be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms! Count me in! I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun too! What in the world? Th that's Amy's voice! Quick, where's Amy? I'm actually dead! He, he, he's not responding to us! Sonic, Sonic! What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one one of you would take this too far. 
Which one of you did this to Sonic on my birthday, no less? Could this really be one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help to get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely! Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room. And punish this one. And punish the one responsible. Amanda! Hearing you and watching your videos always makes my day. I am enjoying the stream so much. Thank you, Sonic, for everything you do. BVW, excuse you. Smirking face. Thank you, Heart. Amanda. That's so sweet of you. Big hugs and kisses from Sonic. I love you guys. S Sonic, he really was hurt this whole time. And I did nothing. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, gotta go fast. I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? I don't think it was any of them. I think it's the conductor. I don't think any of these people, I don't think any of them have the capability to do this. Sonic, does Sega pay you for your games? No. No, no, no. I, I am not represented by Sega in any way. Espio? Alright, well, everyone's saying Espio. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? I didn't know such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss! What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library room car, reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Gotta go fast. Could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings in question Espio's alibi? The hidden passage! Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we haven't found... I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that could put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think gotta go fast and I can explain that too. Gotta go fast? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? A uh, ninja like him speed reads? Espio is a ninja. He is fluent in... 17 different languages and remarkable, dis remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd! Memorizing a whole book! I know that this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book that I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. Oh, hey, Knuckles. I don't think anyone here killed you either. Sonic, are you depressed? Are you the murderer? Am I the Sad murderer? Face. Did I kill my... Did I die? Did I, did I trick everybody? Maybe. If I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passage, 
that Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car, where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what-ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right! How would Espio have even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even found the passage. That'll go fast and I might have evidence to answer your question. But we know someone who does. Gotta go fast? Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Rouge? Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? Oh. That's, uh, that's picture. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever, I already used it to scout for more treasures. Come up cold. You can have it. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Emmy back. And the movie was amazing. Wahoo. It was amazing? Oh, I'm glad you had a great time. Welcome back. We're coming down to the nitty gritty now. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I even saw blueprints? Rouge had him. Well, gotta go fast. You have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Uh, he found it before Rouge did? Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, uh, the library card. It was stuffed with the within the brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used them to the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, a murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but gotta go fast and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. And I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but gotta go fast and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Okay, now to form my argument. Come on, focus. Your clothes gotta go fast. What would Sonic do? Sonic would think! Apparently. Oops. Oh, dear. Oh, no! I didn't know it was going to do that. tough. That one is tough. dart was found in here, in the conductor's room. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, oh, you're so mean! Sonic might just be knocked out! I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic...
Sonic in the conductor's car. Then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, oh, shoot, that's a good point. The Tails was onto something. I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back to the library. Gotta go fast, and I had know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence do you need to take a closer look at? A broken arm? I don't think this is the right direction. Okay, uh... The train map? I don't think this is the right direction. The blueprint? Alright, now what's my argument? You're getting, you're getting closer. Think, gotta go fast. Think! Oh, I'm thinking again! Oh, wow. This one's real tough. Oh, come on! I went on the thingy! I did the thingy! It said big oof! It said big oof. I did it again. Oh, dang it. I was so close. If I didn't run into those spikes at the end, I would have got it. It just takes a little practice. All right, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? There's there's a path above the conductor car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. Huh, I didn't even see that area. Is that the same sort of long attic? Yo, Sonic. I have a question for you. Okay. What are your job options other than fighting Eggman or if Eggman is forever defeated? Would you work as a pizza delivery hedgehog boy or something? Coffee shop? I'd probably be a delivery boy. I mean, it would make sense, right? It's so easy just to run around and deliver pizzas or food of any kind. Maybe if it's a chili dog company, I may eat them on the way. That may be an issue. Couldn't work there. But yeah, I'd probably be a delivery boy or something. According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. He's venting! He's an imposter! The vent, of course! That must be the entrance to the path! Allow me to check it out. My word! There's a path back there. And a track! A track, huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying... I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we're both couldn't fit up there. That feels right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Broken arms! Now to think about my argument. Time to do the thinky thing again.
kidding me? First time! First time! Everyone saw the broken robot arms on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here, and one of those robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said that there's a track the robot arms use that continue through the vent. The robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. It's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily. But if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory, Tails. But you have to admit that there are a lot of consequences. Coincidences, even. I might not be able to link everything directly to Espiel yet, but I have found some incons inconsistencies. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? Amy! Amy, you received a hot scoop, didn't you? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Tails, you're... you're right! Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? <clears throat> No, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Y yes, I said, uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that, make that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were laz lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Ugh. And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car. And lied to Amy, casting through blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everybody, everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone. That only could have been one person. It was you, Espio. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh wait, that, no, that was me. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog! Oh, I'm alive! There I am! I'm okay now! Hey, guys! Sonic, you're okay! Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer! Right. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it! You got me! A blow dart, though. Really? It's not lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great. I could use a nap. No, wait. There's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need... Everyone to listen. The train's a bad Nick. Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? N no, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor's car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. 
But when he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. A flicky? A tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use flickies as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more like a simple badnik. It's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They, uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was a blow dart from Espio. Okay, this is getting, uh, interesting. Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dash through right through the right the robot arm, sliced it off the rail it was it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do that any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. <laughs> the conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before. I was hit quite a bit before all. I, before I got. I can't speak! I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no! Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how this murder game was worked. Sonic, did Espio put something in your drink? In that red punch that spilled by your dead body? I knew Espio was suspicious. No, he used a dart. He used a dart. But while that was happening, I figured out that the train was a bad nick. I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game! No one should get hit with a blow dart! I was just following the rules. See? What is that? It says use a blow dart on Sonic, stationed in the conductor's car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Staff. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotics arm one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Gotta go fast. What do you think? Who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? The... Well, I don't think it's the conductor because he was Espio screaming. Espio needs to put in jail after attempting murder. I know, right? He just didn't understand the game. I think it's the train itself. I believe things being orchestrated, things, uh, some things being orchestrated, things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for a good while. So I think the train itself is plotting something. First we learned the train's a bad nick and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced that the train has got it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in murder mystery games. Train? Come out and show yourself! A Amy! It's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it! Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. 
I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? Oh no, it's a bad train. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? <laughs> Here, I can get him down. Alright, I'm gonna have to do a robo voice, okay? Don't touch him. Is the train talking? Of course I can. You fools were too distracted by playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base, where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails like we always planned. What are you? Enough. The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something! Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Sonic! <laughs> Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Blah! No, no! I can't keep my footing. I fell down. I folded over and hurted myself. A bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pocket. Uh, uh, my head. Tails? Amy? Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic! I'm so sorry, uh, are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the train arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? Great question. For now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? I'm doing amazing. I'm doing amazing! Wow, amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I, uh, might have... Uh, overcompensated there. Uh, let's get our bearings and uh, talk a little. Take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Hey, one of those robotic arms are here too. Wow, it's sweeped at. It's it sweeped at me. Best to leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before the what train or what Shock swipes face. us away. Benjamin, thank you for the donation. Yeah, I know. Twist, right? This is the train all along. What else have we got in here? Oh. That yellow glowing is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I miss the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, Egghead! <laughs> you spiky blue pest! Seems you've finally taken passage on, on one of my passenger trains. trying to feel the breeze. Train hit a deer earlier, though. I've been saving animals from being hit by the train. Good job, Big! You keep up the great work! Thanks for the donation, buddy! Miss you! Wish you were part of the train game! created the strain who the heck are you don't talk to me uh, ignoring that they certainly didn't talk about you in my interview my involvement is well no civilian the infrastructure in your town just wasn't cutting it if I were to build Eggman land there's probably there's problems would need sorting out 
So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, Dr. Predictable? The people fear giant spheres, it's science. Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars that they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was... Did you not know this was happening? Heavens, no. I'm only getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capabilities of a badnik is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happened aboard. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feature only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture m motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks compete against one another for time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First, to capture your pathetic creatures, gets a generous reward. The train wants, us, wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever. But I highly intelligent train, it might ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done babbling, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost! <laughs> Ciao. He already knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation, and being made by Eggman, it's no doubt powerful. Not to mention we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train supposedly had Sonic knocked out so he could deliver us to Eggman? This whole time we were all in danger, and I went along with it? Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? I should have done more. I didn't try hard enough. I should have done more. Am I at fault here? I knew Sonic was hurt all along. I couldn't keep anyone safe. Couldn't keep anyone safe. Hey! I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry, I... I get it! The road's getting tough! It's easy to question the decisions that you got here. But when negativity hits... Thought... When negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap-before-you-think kind of guys. <laughs> Okay, you're right. Sabuna! What exactly did I miss? Uh, Espio was the murderer. He, um, poisoned... He got a letter that said to poison dart Sonic. And then the train attacked Sonic and dragged him through a vent. Bringing him into the dining hall. And it turns out that this was a, a really advanced badnik made by Eggman. And it is currently taking us to Eggman's base and now 
me and the other Sonic are trying to plan uh, an escape, I guess? Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe. Okay. We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fort fortified. How do we get through? Uh, believe in yourself! No matter the obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure it out. The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves what what would Sonic do? So, what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head on and rescue our friends. By any means necessary. Here, stand back. Wow, with one big wind-up, Sonic Spin Dash was fast enough to get the door open. Let me in. Let me in. I'll give Eggman a spin dash he won't forget. By the way, love how you voice him. Thank you so much, DIY! Yeah, we're gonna go take out that big lump of egg. Heh! <laughs> now that's the road... Now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us! Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we're getting any another break after this. Ready to go? Let's do this. That's the spirit. Let's go find our friends. To the conductor's car to end this mystery. Oh, oh, okay. All right, our friends are locked in the cars Mama up ahead. Mia. Mamma Mia, I know, Zabuna, right? It's getting crazy. In my last adventure, maxing out my rings count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to burst through the next door, too. Ready? Let's do this! Made it through the first door. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal the with the train first. Come on, let's go. The train came from Ohio? <laughs> Probably. Hmm. Made it! All right! You all came for us. Of course! But let's move! The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is to get off this stupid train! Let's go. Now oh, the colors changed. That's cool. Just, just made it. Sonic, it's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move. You two ready? Always. Let's boogie. They locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more! Let's go! Oopsie. Oopsie! Pay attention, Sonic. Sonic! 
Sonic, you're here! <laughs> There's no way to treat the birthday girl! You're right! I'm ready to stop this train! Time to finish this! We're at the we're at the conductor's car. Excellent work trapping those pests. Now hurry to me! I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land. And probably another death egg. Oh, I haven't done that in a while. Maybe I'll turn you all into robots to give Sage some new toys to play with. Oh, I love the fact they mentioned Sage. That's so cool. Shut it, Eggman! Don't disappoint me, train. Hurry it up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty. Hello, Sonic, and can you tell Tails I said hello? Yeah, sure, I'll let him know when I next see him. No problem, thanks for the donation. I don't care what you call it, just bring me those overgrown mammals. Uh, that Eggman? I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is everyone. Get ready. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. All right, time to take down a train. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave like it was nothing? Who do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. Uh, oh, okay, 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 getting handsy. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Conductor! You promised me. You promised! Let him speak. Unhand him. I think the robotic arm came from Ohio, Sonic. It sounds like it came from Ohio, right? It's going crazy right now. Train. Stop this. When I told you we'd be with each other forever, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses! How dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely, so lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? No, stop. What are you doing to me? Please, don't make me do this. 
We have to rescue the conductor! If we ever want to stop this train! amount the exact amount we did it okay one hit tell amy shadow i said hi sure will do buddy thanks for the donation there's the flicky we gotta get the flicky oh he's so tired a flicky this is just like the lord card when my ex-best friend left detective work to join Dr. Eggman. So this is really... So this really is a bad thing. The stakes rise every second. Ah. We gotta save him! On it. Let's show our full power. supposed to do that are you serious that's crazy to rage I'm trying I did so good that time each time I'm so close each time that is hard that is that is real hard comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me? Selfish? How? How dare you?
No. No. No! No! I'll grab the flicky. Yeah, go, Espio! It's over! Time to pay for ruining my birthday! Whoa! Amy just took that thing out! Oh, Amy. I got you. I got you, girl. I got you. The train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. <laughs> it was great. Pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. I... I just... <laughs> Couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for that trouble. Aw, it's actually kind of sad. It's actually kind of sad. Aww. I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing! may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Uh huh? I mean, the train is still kind of intact. Aw, oh, the conductor's still so sad. We did it! Well, I'd say I'd never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step! Watch your step! It's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we'll just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh? You don't like parties where... Where by the end, someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually going to miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. <laughs> You'd honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. Quick. We leave for Spragnolia in the morning. You need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation something terrible. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor's more than happy to begin his retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? <laughs> An old friend, I think. Well, they're, you, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Seems that Flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, Espio. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be! You were just following what you thought was the game! It's hard to know what we'd have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a... I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously, a dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool. And now that I saw that we're all safe, it was fun. This group was a wild a idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we never ate. With all that clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. 
Me too. I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic? Wait, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? The station has a bakery, and look what I brought! Ah, birthday cake! Oh, it's got her face on it, that's cute. Happy birthday, Amy! To the, to the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from the start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger every celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. 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 Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personality. Happy birthday! I'm not smart enough to know if a personality is... A word. Personality. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah, you guys! We almost got murdered by a lonely train. But, but! I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now, let's have some cake! Yes, please, dig in, everyone! Yay! I hope it's chocolate. I hope it's chocolate, too. Let's go, Dad! Oh my god! Why is that the cutest thing I've ever seen? Let's go, Dad! Oh, that's so cute! Ah, it's so cute! That train's never making it here, is it? Orbot, prepare a path. The happy rubber duck or the angry one? Angry! A sour choice, your evilness. Shut it! Amazing. That's amazing. And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. Entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment, and then back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I... Stuck with the gig or quit my job? I stuck with the gig. And then, practice my singing, won millions in the lottery! And after all that, I managed to fly to space. Now run a, uh, managed to fly to space! Yeah, that's just been my life. I went to space! Everybody, I went to space! Me, the space guy! I went to space because I'm awesome! And I did it. I beat the game. I was told that the final boss was super, super hard. And I'm not going to lie. It was hard. It was pretty hard. I'm not going to lie. That was difficult. But I did it. I did it pretty quickly, I'd like to think. I think I did pretty good. What do you think? You think I did well? I, I think I did pretty good. I think I did pretty good. Is there anything at the end? That's what I put. Let's go, baby. Well, I did it. Sonic the Space Hog. That's me. I went to space, baby. We went to space and we did cool stuff up there. And we were flying around. Did you win? Was it cool? It's super cool. This game is really good. I really enjoyed it. It's super fun. You'll have a blast, Charmy, trust me. You will have a blast. But trust me when I say it is hard. Like the actual like platforming part is hard. 
That was a role play Sonic and his friends were playing until they fought. Yeah, well, yeah, it was. It was. It's a visual novel. It's, it's supposed to be like you're supposed to figure it all out, be a detective and whatnot, and try to do all of the funnies. And, and there was a lot of funnies. Well, I'm gonna have fun on Friday. Yeah, you are. Uh, I I will make sure not to tell Espio any of the story, so he'll be just as surprised as you. I'm gonna cry now. Why are you gonna cry? Don't cry. Please don't cry. Anything at the end here? No. We did it! We did it, everybody! We completed the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. We discovered who the culprit was and the fun M. Night Shyamalan twist at the end to make it that much more fun. Everybody, thank you all so, so much for coming. I really appreciate it. You guys have been incredible. You've been here the whole time. We've, 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 we've had a blast, right? We've had some fun. Please let me know. Please let me know if you had some fun here. I may have missed most of the stream, but I had a great time. Thank you, Sabuna. That's going to come up on the stream in just a second, I'm sure. But thank you so much for that donation. It's very nice of you. But yeah, guys, we're going to end here. I think, I think we had a really, really fun stream today. I had a really good time. It's been a while since I've done a stream. So I thought, what better thing to do than stream this? I may have missed most of the stream, but I had a great time. I had fun too. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed hanging out with me today and solving the mystery of the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog with me today. I had a great time, and I would never trade it for the world. You guys have been incredible. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to stay awesome as you always are, because you are just the best. And don't forget, you can be a speedster by becoming a member to the channel, and you'll get a free... You get the, you get my, well, I, may, I may give you some of my shoes and try them on. And we can try and be super fast together if you want it. Just a simple click away. But of course, don't forget to like this live stream if you enjoyed it. Comment below on what your favorite part of this whole thing was. And if you're still new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss a video from me or my friends. But for now, I need to get some rest after that adventure. That's been quite the story. But everybody, take care as always. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.